Welcome. Today we'll talk about using Amazon Bedrock Agent's new multi-agent collaboration capability to unify customer experiences. We'll do that through a mortgage assistant demo. Consider this scenario. You're, you're part of Octank Mortgages and they've come up with a, a, a new mortgage assistant. Before they used Bedrock, they had challenges with customer experience in a big way. Plenty of voice menus on phone port with very long wait times and with heavy call center volume, no chat experience available. They had a simple website with very limited data and static views. So they took advantage of Bedrock multi-agent collaboration. They built something called the mortgage assistant with a few collaborators, one to handle existing mortgages, a second one to handle new mortgage application process, and a third one to handle general questions. The answers come back in seconds. It's flexible and personalized, huge relief for the call center. And it's extensible as we add in other capabilities, let's say green mortgages or the ability to book real estate appointments and more. So let's take a look. I'll pretend I'm an Octank customer using their new mortgage assistant app. Since the app knows who I am, I'll just jump right in. So my first uh, request is to look up my, when is my next payment due and for how much? Now uh, this supervisor agent has built in routing, which quickly dispatches to the right agent with no coding required, comes back pretty quickly after using a tool to, to give me an accurate answer. And then I can ask a follow-up question. I don't have to be elaborate. I can be fairly terse here. So after that payment, what's left after that? So I'm expecting it to look up more information and tell me how many payments I have left and how much money I still owe. And, and there it is, 72 more payments. And uh, told me when my last payment is, is going to be due which is great. It's pretty exciting because it's as easy as texting uh, with this app. And while I'm here, I remember my wife keeps saying it's time to think about refinancing. So let's see how the app handles topic switching. And I'll even ask it multiple questions uh, all at once. So here I'm saying, what's my current rate? What are the rates for new 15 year fixed mortgages? And is there a big enough difference to make refi worth it? given the pros and cons. It easily sees that it needs to revert to a supervisor mode, not just dispatch to one agent. It comes up with a three-step plan here, and it decides it's going to do that uh, in parallel. So it does those simultaneously. It looks up in a knowledge base. It looks up the current mortgage status. It looks up the mortgage rate history to get the, the current rates. And it pulls all that together to figure out, hey, my current rate is eight and a half. Uh, I could get six and a half. That's a 2% difference. And typically there's a 1% threshold where refinancing would make sense. So as it turns out, my wife was right again. It looks like refinancing would save me some serious cash. So pretty exciting here. I've never had customer experience like this, responsive, conversational and handling multi-step requests with no problem. So before I wrap up, let me check in on my application for a new mortgage as well. Normally I would have had to go to a separate app for this, but here, since it's a multi-agent system, I ask it, uh, hey, where do we stand with my employment verification documentation? My HR department said they sent it to you. It's able to look that up and tell me that that's still missing. So one last follow-up, I want to know what my payment will be on my new mortgage if I were to lock in on today's rates. So I just enter, if I lock in today's rates, what would my payment be? Well, it looks up my application details and then uses a, a built-in code interpreter, generates code to make an accurate calculation and uh, figures out my payment. And that's it.